John P3922 contest uh, video for Boeing fan 727. Hi guys, this is England International Airport based in London, England. Um, so let's let's go on with the video. Firstly, uh, let the best airport win. Obviously, I know there are loads of airports that are absolutely incredible on YouTube. So I'm just going to say the reasons why I think I get the edge, but then you guys obviously will say the same and. And I just wish everyone the best. Um, I'd like to say, you know, I'd love a, a United or Delta 767, but they are $36. I live in England, and it will probably cost you about, I don't know, $10 to send it. So um, I would be more than happy with, I would absolutely love a United 727, 757-200 <laughs> winglets, you know, the new one. Um, because this contest is actually perfect for me, because I've completed my Asian aircraft. Uh, I've completed my Oceana. African, you know, uh, British Airways, pretty much. Um, the only air airlines that I need to work on is my American, because I've only got a Delta and American. I've got a Delta 767 and American 752, and I really, really, my dream um, to complete is uh, about four American 777s, 176, uh, a couple of Delta 767 winglets, and a United 772, 763, 752. So, any United aircraft in the new colours um, above a 752 and below a 74, uh, so sorry, below a 77 would be amazing. Um, so yeah, let's let's go on with the vid. Um, thank you for having this contest, mate. Um, you're probably asleep right now because it's uh, morning in England, but here we go. I hope you enjoy the video. Right, I've got a list of stuff I'm going to go through. Um, basically, in my airport, all the airlines are respective uh, of England. So, you, for instance, you wouldn't see a US Airways A319 here because, well, that just wouldn't happen. Um, you would see an A330 here. You wouldn't see a Qantas 737-800 here. You'd see a Qantas 74-A380 here. Uh, you wouldn't even see a 330-200 here, even though it has the legs to, to fly it. So, all these planes are respective of um, Heathrow. This is the closest I can get for Delta. They actually have uh, the 764, but um, to Manchester they do use the 763. Uh, Emirates, again, they use all type, they use all their planes bar the A330. Uh, so that's everything. Um, all my planes that are taxiing are separated apart. Uh, I'll just give you a quick demo here. You wouldn't see a plane like this ever in an airport. That's too close. That is not realistic. All my planes are separated realistically. Sorry about my finger. To uh, to kind of create a uh, a realistic type of airport. Um, all the gates, times are real, so in my videos I'd usually say like uh, uh, what time it is, so if it's 6 o'clock in the morning you will see a lot of American aircraft and a lot of Asian aircraft at the gates. Uh, if you say if it's about 2 o'clock you'll see the last of the Asians aircraft and uh, a few more Americans and then again at, at night you'll see all the Asian aircraft going and no American aircraft. Maybe the odd one coming in, but not going out. So it's 11 o'clock now, which is why you see a few aircraft. You know, this one's heading out to the States. This one's heading out to the States. This one's heading out to Sri Lanka in an hour. This one's heading out to Singapore in an hour. Uh, so there's quite a mixture. It, it, uh, sorry, 10 o'clock in the morning, which is decent time. Um, yeah, I was kind of the first person on YouTube to make videos uh, for scenarios. So like... Uh, bad weather or, or a which creates delays or a um, say the volcanic ash um, that that creates problems. So I kind of make scenarios which help me make videos rather than just a boring airport update. Or airport update. I make scenarios which is an airport update in itself. So um, everyone likes them. So uh, yeah, I, I'm uh, the first person to do that on YouTube. Um, I'm first to kind of add these two terminals together. This is T1, this is T2. Now the reason that's T1, even though it's older, is because this was always just the airport. And when it came to um, giving them a, a T1, T2, because this is um, exclusive for British Airways, uh, they had the choice to have T1 or T2, and they said they'll take T1. So this is why that's T1, it's British Airways. We've got seven gates at the... Uh, um, the, the terminal, we've got four parking ramp gates down here for uh, A380s and larger. We've got another four uh, here, three for 7.4s and smaller, um, and a little one at the end uh, for a Avro RJ, and we've also got another little Avro RJ spot here. 
sorry, A380s or smaller. Uh, then we've got a cargo up here. I'm making a lot more of these little things. They're quite tough to make. Uh, like there, there's a finished one. Uh, new aircraft, 7478. And that's uh, the cargo. Uh, we have got rid of our charter aircraft. Um, you will no longer see charter planes here because basically we're getting too full and we'd, we'd rather have scheduled outlines. So all those planes are actually being sold. I've sold a bunch of planes already. Um, the future, as I say, I want more American heavies, Delta heavies, and United he heavies. Um, I'm trying so hard to get Harper various people, but um, I can't really find them anywhere because they're sold out, which is annoying. And I'd like to have some Harper vehicles to get color. I've now got three boxes of the Gemini Jets. Um, Gemini Jets ones. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Um, if you look at the, the new airport layout, that's 32. Uh, if you look at, right, I'll show you how it's now laid out. These four are all One World gates. So you'll see One World Airlines here. These four are Star Alliance gates. So you'll see Star Alliance planes here. And these four are Sky Team. They're all exclusive to their uh, team uh, or alliance. However, if there is a, uh, a, Sky, a Star Alliance plane um, that all these three are delayed and there's one waiting and there's one will gate free for an hour or two the slot of time uh, it will just slot in right there uh, this is a one world A380 gate Star Sky Team A380 gate, Star Alliance A380 gate uh, one world, one world, one world and then we have two neutral gates, this is exclusive to Virgin absolutely exclusive, no other aircraft go in that gate uh, this is a Sky Team gate Another neutral gate for Emirates and Qatar, uh, however I think Qatar are joining one world. Uh, another Star Alliance A380 gate and a Sky Team, but they say New Zealand for Star Alliance is in there at the moment. Uh, we did have a problem the other day, an Austrian Airlines A310 20 was coming in, it was a, asked to uh, climb a thousand feet, so it did, full throttle. There was a bit of a fuel leak, the engine caught fire and um, the pilot put it out, but there was substantial damage done to the frame of the wing, so that is... Um, written off pretty much. Here's the retired BMI 735. Uh, also had another problem today, that happened about three days ago on the Austrian 320, but if we uh, go around here, uh, flying from New York JFK to Rome, uh, had hydraulic problems, so I uh, made an emergency landing here, uh, stopped on the runway and it's been towed. That is why you will see quite a backlog of traffic here uh, that have all also just landed. Uh, just quickly go through these planes, landed in the morning, don't go off till the night. Uh, as you can see them. Right, let's go through my British Airways. A319 dove collars. This plane is heading off to Copenhagen. Uh, British Airways 1 World 744. This plane is heading off to Houston. British Airways 735 going up to uh, Glasgow. British Airways A319 going to Stockholm. British Airways 767 300 ER going to Nazoru or Nazu in the Bahamas. British Airways 319 gate is just pushing away. Uh, this aircraft is going to Frankfurt. BA 146 plane is going to Paris Orly. Uh, 773 ER heading out to Hyderabad in uh, India. 787-800, this is going out to Washington. A380-800, this plane in, has just come from Sydney via Singapore and will be soon heading out to New York JFK in about an hour and a half. Uh, this aircraft is literally waiting to push back, waiting for the tug which is just here on its way. Uh, this plane is heading out to JFK, um, it's BA-174. This aircraft heading out to uh, Los Angeles, another 744. A couple of retired planes here. Istanbul for the 738. JL uh, has just come from Tokyo. And New Zealand, the 300 operates the uh, Los Angeles route and the 200 and the 400 operate the Hong Kong route, so they go via Hong Kong, this one flies via Los Angeles to Auckland. Um, yeah, so also another news, Air France are cutting down on, they, they always fly some flights via here. Uh, so they'll fly from New York or Los Angeles via here to Paris or vice versa. Um, they did have, as you can see, the three, the, we used to have the 343 and the 380 here at the same time. but. Uh, I've actually sold the 343, so they're just doing, they're kind of cutting down on uh, flights via here, our uh, long haul flights. Um, new American aircraft, very, very nice, really like it. Um, once, um, because there's so many aircraft 
uh, already in British Airways uh, here. Um, it takes up the whole of T1, so there still are a few gates that British Airways still own, like these two. Open Skies work from T2, um, but here's uh, a British Airways aircraft heading out to Barcelona. And another 772 heading out to Chicago. Uh, this Virgin over here, this plane is a very nice plane going to Newark, Singapore. Um, so yeah, my planes are also respective of you wouldn't have the, all of the gates taken up and then another 12 aircraft on the taxiway because I mean where did those planes come from? <clears throat> so uh, for instance this uh, Air India has just come from this gate which now this Korean's going in. Um, this Sky Team has just come from that Air New Zealand gate where the Air New Zealand has just come in. This Ethiopian, this Delta have all come from here. Uh, Delta one's still open, the Ethiopian one's been taken up. Emirates was in the Emirates gate and that was taken up with another Emirates aircraft. Uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of a realistic, um, I hope obviously that I win because I'd absolutely be just over the moon of a, of a to win an aircraft, so I hope it's good enough for uh, Boeing fan 77, thanks so much for having the contest, uh, British Airways birthday girl taking off on 27 left, going to New York, JFK, and at the other side we've got a, a, another Virgin 744 that's just touched down, uh, that plane coming from I believe it came from um, South Africa being Cape Town. So that's that's it guys. Um, because I'm selling quite a lot of aircraft at the minute, like the Air France that I don't need. I've also just sold uh, my Middle East Airlines to um, Simon Ann, I think is his name, on YouTube. That will be being sent today. Um, be because I don't uh, necessarily need it anymore. It's absolutely brand new condition, all my planes are. Selling the EasyJet, uh, selling the Flybe, selling the Jet 2, the Monarch, the other Monarch. Uh, I want to sell this, but I don't think it will go for enough. I bought it for 32 quid, so I'd like to get the same back. Thinking about selling the Antonov, uh, thinking about selling the 77, um, and that is about it. I will sell these S7 when they uh, decide to retire their 735 fleet, but I have just bought a Rossier Airlines A319 that will be flying from St. Petersburg to here, and a Aeroflot A321. For, I found them for bargains, about £12 each. So, uh, absolutely. Um, brilliant getting those bargains. Also bidding on a British Airways uh, 77 and an American 772. Hoping to get them a bargain as well, but I don't think I will. But so uh, we can try. So uh, again, here's a shot. This aircraft is about to push back for uh, when this Air Canada moves out of the way. This Air Canada is actually just holding for this Air France. Sorry, this uh, Singapore to push back. Uh, then this aircraft will be going out to Boston. Um, 752 heading out to Washington. And I said Barcelona for this one. Swiss going to Zurich A3920, sorry. Um, so I hope uh, that I, I win the 752 United. Uh, thanks so much for having the contest. Hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of went through why I think I should win. And also a few of the reasons why. Um, and uh, sorry, the uh, airport update as well. Um, obviously, you've got a hangar here that's empty. That's uh, mainly British Airways, but it couldn't be used for one more partners as well, such as American Airlines, Iberia. Cathay Pacific, etc., etc. So, JL. Um, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed my video. No charter operations anymore, all scheduled airlines. Uh, got a problem at the moment, got a, a plane that was written off due to an engine fire, and another plane that's just landed uh, due to hydraulic problems. It's now an Italia 772 ER. Uh, hope you enjoyed my video, guys. This England International Airport, E I A E G L I, um, here in uh, London, England based in the centre of London, south of Heathrow, north of Gatwick. Hope you enjoy this, guys. And I'll leave you on uh, my favourite aircraft of all time, the British Airways 747-400 aircraft. Thank you, and uh, good luck to everyone.